Hi, this is Travis Barn with DVTV. I'm here on Oak Lawn in S4's Rose Room to see some queens. Not the normal type of queens. I'm here to see beauty queens, actual beauty queens. So if you'll excuse me, I need to slip into my evening gown for the competition. The Miss Oak Cliff, Miss Oak Lawn pageants truly thank from the bottom of our hearts the generosity and support from these people because without them, none of this would be possible. I was having to bite my tongue a lot tonight, but the, but the girls were really fabulous. They were a lot of fun to work with. I mean, there are a lot of really talented girls. And one girl who's like almost six foot tall, her name is Alex something. She's gorgeous. She's, uh, she's, she's my pick to win. Awesome. Well, I hope she wins. Me too. Oh, well, Otherwise, I'll look like a dumbass. <laughs> you would never look like a dumbass. You're nothing but beautiful. Kiss up. <laughs> and I'm about to turn 31 and continue to speak as much as I can on HIV and AIDS because there is a cure for this disease. It's called education. And it's called getting out and teaching our youth and continuing to teach our adults that we can put a stop to this disease if we stop it ourselves. Your so. new Miss Oak Cliff, 2009 is contestant number six, Alex Epler. <laughs> contestant number eight, Kat Ewing. I know that you've had a lot of involvement in the community with your HIV and AIDS awareness work. Right. Um, what are you doing to continue that effort in your role currently? Well, now that I'm back in East Texas, I kind of travel around speaking. Um, I'm starting to travel a little bit more, but you know, the great thing is, is that the East Texas schools have opened up and they have allowed me to come in and speak to the students. Back when I was in high school, heaven forbid you say the word gay, and definitely you did not say the word AIDS. Right. And um, it's really nice to be able to go back home and to make a difference in my hometown community and to be able to go in in the elementary and junior high and high schools and to be able to talk to the kids and give them HIV and AIDS education. It's, it's nothing about an agenda. It's nothing about anything. Um, we just had the opportunity to have the support that we have in the GLBT community to come together and say we are going to support an actual contestant to go to the official Miss Texas and Miss America pageant. So doing that was just something that you cannot, you cannot turn down. I got very emotional today because you see everyone you know, embracing change and equality and that's something you just can't turn down. It was a great pageant. You did a wonderful job. What's Thank next? Thank you so much. Oh, wow. I guess just, you know, doing my ear service to Oakland area and, and we'll see. Just getting ready for Miss Texas and I'm sure that'll be a lot of work but really fun. So, Is this your first time in a gay bar? Um, actually, it's not. <laughs> it is not. I've been here actually a good few, a lot of times. What beauty tips or secrets, little things could you? Oh my maybe goodness! Give well, after seeing Cassie Dove, I think she needs to give me beauty tips. <laughs> Obviously, they know eyelashes. That's my favorite part. Eyelashes. Fake eyelashes. Oh, so, yeah. Fake eyelashes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just apply and bat bat. Yeah. Wow, yeah. those look completely real. <laughs> I feel great. It's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime feeling, so it's awesome. So after here, is it Miss Texas next? Yes, Miss Texas will be the next step. Would you be offended if somebody mistook you for a drag queen ever? Well, to be honest, the drag queens that I've seen are beautiful, and I mean, I wouldn't be offended just because they are so similar to like a real, they have really feminine looks, and I wouldn't be offended, but you know, I am me, and 
people can judge me for who they think, but I'm still myself. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you again. You're very welcome. Much. Thank you. Well, we just crowned the new Miss Oak Lawn and Miss Oak Cliff, and it was a great pageant. It, I was getting into my evening gown, and they told me that men aren't actually allowed in the competition. Oh, well, I guess I'll try next year. If you have any goings on in your community that you'd like us to cover, please send us an email to dvtv at dallasvoice.com from your local scene to your computer screen. This is Travis Barr with One Voice for Our People.